Y'all already saw my jelly car in my 100 subscriber live stream. But, well, this here jelly car is somewhat complex in a way. And while I did sell the tune, I think it's better to go ahead and explain like how exactly all this works and how it like goes together and all that. So that way y'all can use this to maybe make y'all your own jelly cars as well with different cars. Because this is the only one I've tried it on yet. So different cars might have different scenarios, but there is the same basic background. And that's what I'll go over here. Again, if you want to see it in action, watch the live stream with the 100 subscriber one. But anyway, here, go with the tune. Start off all the power. Less the weight. Pretty much you want your car light so that it can roll over easier and you want it going past so that it rolls farther. For traction control, the Seaver OP is not that powerful of a car. The tires, that's important. There's a thing called grip roll, pretty much the name explains it. The more grip a car has, the more chance it has of rolling over. This car has a pretty cop a good chance. And then for the brake balance, this is also important too, but not for the car to roll side to side. This is important for the car to roll forward. In this game, this actually is a better overall jelly car than the Honda Life Step Van overall. Because the Honda Life Step Van could roll over at a slower speed, and it could do a full flip forward when tuned to do that. But this one, it can't really roll over super slowly, but it can't really do a full flip. But it can do both pretty well. It's not as good in, in individual things, but this one is better all, all around. So with the brake bias at its highest, that means it can roll forward better. As for rolling side to side, that's what the suspension does. To start off both in the front and the rear, you want it as high as possible. Higher center gravity means more chance of rolling. And the rest of the suspension, suspension you want as soft as possible. So that it bounces around more, therefore it's more unstable and therefore has a better chance of rolling. And for the camber and toe to zero, just because really you don't want that to affect it much rolling one way or the other. Out and in and all that, just leave it normal so that way it rolls normally. And finally, the last truly important part about this tune is the brake sensitivity. Again, this isn't really for side to side, this is for forward. But in order to have it roll forward best, have the brake sensitivity all the way up. That way, this, the car lurches forward at a faster speed, so therefore it actually goes, the, the rear tires go that much higher off the ground. So, again, this car all in all is good. Not great at any one thing, but it does a lot of things well. In terms of jelly cars, it does roll forward, kind of, sort of. It does roll side to side at about I think 60 or so miles an hour. The life step van could roll forward braking at about 80 or 90 completely like a full 180 roll to the roof. This can't quite do that and it could also roll side to side about 20 but well it couldn't actually when tuned to be in the middle do both. This can sort of kind of do both. So we well there you have it folks. This is the first jelly car I've been able to make. And again, y'all can try this on cars too. The more people testing this out on more cars, the more we can figure out what is and isn't a jelly car. And for this one that I know definitely is, I'll go ahead and do some challenges for it in the future. Stay tuned for those. And as always, yeehaw.